what's going on guys your boy Rashad Landers and today I'm back with another video uh why did I just <laughs> I'm not even gonna cut that bro I'm not even gonna restart it over there I was like yo this is an old intro bro I grew up now I grew up now you know we gotta look good and some more stuff but what we here for today we are here for um first of all five star Dawson Garcia committed to Marquette which makes me mad because you know I'm an Indiana fan Indiana was in his final schools but uh he's a 6'11 center uh, I think he's from Indiana as well, played with Indiana Elite. Um, I haven't seen too much of him. I've seen a versatile skill set, though, which is uh, kind of like Matthew Hurt type of guy, but, you know, he has two inches on Matthew Hurt. And then, uh, you know, he's he. I think he's, like, lengthwise longer than Matthew Hurt and some more things along that lines. But the big news is James Wiseman has been suspended uh, for 12 games, which means he will come back January 12th. Uh, that news was just released. As you guys know, recently I made a video about James Wiseman. You can check that out. Uh, it's all up on the channel. Uh, but, yeah, uh, James Wiseman suspended for 12 games. But also the thing that is killing me is they're making him pay $11,500 to charity. So what's wrong with that? Okay, you know, rules are broken and all that, you know. But you're talking about a college kid, first of all. College kids don't even get paid. So that's why I'm so mad about this. College kids, for one, don't, doesn't get paid. And uh, for two, um, Wiseman was given the money, uh, you know, for his family to move to Memphis. Now, was that wrong? Uh, yeah, but, you know, you got your coach who's probably been coaching you all your life in Penny with uh, Bluff City. They're back then they were Team Penny with Bluff City Legends and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, so he's coaching you all your life. And he said, hey, come to Memphis with me. I'm coaching in Memphis East, you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's get a state title and, you know, if I, you know, just along that line. So, you know, he accepts the money that helps his family move to, you know, new house and stuff like that in Memphis. And then all of a sudden, Penny gets the head coaching job in Memphis. James commit there. And, you know, it's cool and all. And then this comes up. But what, what I'm trying to say is they're making a kid pay for something that the coach did. And like, with all due respect to Penny Hardaway, uh, one of my favorite players of all time. I watch his highlights all the time since I wasn't live. <laughs> well, I was alive, but I wasn't old when he was playing. And, uh, you know, Penny, I think Penny's a great coach. I've seen his success in EYBL and in Memphis East. I've watched him in person and uh, live. I've seen all of it. And I just think, uh, you know, I mean, probably the school is going to pay for it in general. But it, I hope the NCAA is not expecting this money this year from him. You know, with him being a kid and stuff like that. But next sure year you can get the money because James Watson, no doubt, is going to the NBA no matter what. You know, it's not going to hurt his draft stock with, you know, the stuff that's going down. You know, he's going to miss a couple games. But if he comes back in how he started, then, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, and, you know, he's done with the NCAA, which is a reason why a lot of recruits are going overseas. You know, NCAA is corrupt, man. Uh, you know, they're starting, they're starting to finally realize the backlash they begin this year and, you know, things along that line. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, you know, but this James Wiseman situation, I'm glad it all got resolved to where we can see Wiseman play in March and see Wiseman play in general, man. I hate to see talent, you know, get wasted or not necessarily get wasted, but not be shown like, uh, you know, Michael Porter Jr. I'm finally getting to see him play, uh, on a level higher in high school and, you know, guys along that line. It's just good to see that we got this resolved to where we can see Wiseman play the nation and see him play. Uh, you know, March Madness is going to be great with Memphis. You know, Memphis is going to be a great team without James Wiseman. Don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of five stars and a lot of great guys on that team that are already there. Uh, Memphis is going to be a great team. American Conference is not that hard. Probably got Houston and uh, Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati's an American. Uh, SMU is a pretty decent team. Those are probably the only teams they can have problems with uh, where Wiseman will be a big factor. But other than that, it's just I'm glad to hear good news. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Um... I do more videos like this, do breaking news a lot, uh, so I get a lot of coverage and a lot of views. But I want to give my subscribers up, guys, too. Um, I want to give a shout-out to Mr. Marshman. He uh, comes to all my videos. I want to say thank you to him. He comments every day. He makes my day uh, with the comments and stuff, man. Um, I started this about a year ago, and uh, now it's, it's cool to see real people support me and, you know, people that I don't know, and I love that a lot. So I just want to thank you guys for all the support recently. Our um, video uh, hit 1,000 views. I forgot which video it is, but it hit 1,000 views. And I'm happy about that. So just thank you guys for all the support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Man, the likes going crazy, but the subs, not. But I appreciate anything. Uh, just stopping by in general. So thank you.